Hello there, Flegel Floggle here, and today I'm going to be bringing you an album review of the one and only Godspeed You Black Emperor's technically fourth album, Hallelujah, Don't Bend Ascend. Now, I I don't know what, really what to say. I mean, the uh, I have uh, Lift Your Skinny Fist Like Antennas to Heaven, and it was brilliant. I mean, the double album, and it was awesome. And we've been waiting 10 years for a new album. Some people are quite disappointed with Yankee XYO. But I've got to say, don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, because to... Good Lord. It's Jesus! Forget about that album, Eddie. You must do something of amazing quality. And what is this? I will hand it to you. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, slight change of plan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing one of the best albums of all time. Yes, yes, usually I say... Yes, this is known as one of the best albums of all time, but in my opinion, I don't think it is. Scratch this, I am not saying this at all. It is one of the best albums of all time. The fourth album by Talking Heads, Remain in Light, came out October 8th, 1980, and sadly only got number 21 in the UK charts. I am a very big fan of Talking Heads. For example, I'm a fan of the more rockier kind of stuff of the debut album, and... Uh, also, I'm quite a fan of the more mainstream kind of stuff, of little creatures. But I think one of the best times that they ever had was easily with the Brian Eno years. First coming about with Fear of Music, Brian Eno basically helped a lot of people out, like David Bowie, and just basically made them better in their own sort of creative style. And although he did help with Fear of Music, I think his idea changed music forever. And starting really with Remain in Light. What happens is, basically, is that he thought of a very innovative thing called looping. And looping is where they loop. They get nice little tidbits of catchy stuff, and they just repeat it and overlap it, and... There you are. And that's what most of Remain in Light is. For 1980, this is just totally, you know, never really been done before. And as you know, with mainstream things, what do you hear? Loop, 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 loop. Make a catchy bit, and that's it. I can't really find them for that because those things suck, but they've done it really well with this. So let's just get onto this straight away with Born Under Punches immediately hits you with these blips of techno and guitars and with the drums carries a great beat that you can just have a spaz attack to. Uh, David Byrne spouts out these lyrics of personifications and random stuff and there's just so many brilliant quotes like take a look at these hands, I'm a tumbler, I'm so thin, I'm a government man and with it comes these brilliant backing vocals, which just add more depth and emotions to it. I'd like, never seen anything like it before, falling bodies tumble across the floor, it gives you chills. And the song jumps back into this kind of guitar solo, and then synth solo, which just sounds like a glitchy Atari game, and it's awesome. Then, the great chorus, uh, you know, with the heat goes on, and how you can't almost sing with it, uh, pretty much impossible. Then it goes back to the original button vocals, but it's overlapping, and you just, you just get, you just have to think how much stuff's going on, and it's just incredible. Ten out of ten. Cross-eyed and painless is the second song, and has another frantic, repetitive kind of beat, and involves a nice little cowbell going mad. Again, more great lyrics from Burn, and the backings are once again a great highlight. Just well, it's all well, like harmonised together, and again, more great lyrics. And with Burn, not very tuneful really. I mean, he was back in the 77 days, and he does get later in this album. But this, and contrasting with the brilliant sort of stuff going on with the partners, it's just great. The guitars sprout across this song, and it's one of the early catchy bits still waiting. And then the new wave sounded a bit where he's talking about the facts 
and it's just again a brilliant song, 9.7 out of 10. The Great Curve is the highlight for the bassist Tina Weaver. Her vocals and bass shine on here, and I think the fact is that this song sort of fits with the rock category, especially like there's a big guitar solo that sounds raw and well, sounds like a proper guitar solo. Um, people probably look at the six and a half minute length and feel put off. And to put it simply, there was enough diversity, bongos, trumpets. Honestly, it just overloads you with it. And it's kind of like a mind. But that's a good thing, as you will slowly pick up the different things in each listen. Another sharp sounding guitar kicks in for the guitar solo. And amazing lyrics. I love the world moves on a woman's hips, the world moves on its swivels and hops. And just great, funky, brilliant. The song does go on a bit too long, or maybe I believe. Uh, just for me, like this, they keep saying the same stuff at the end. But even then, I mean, 9.5 out of 10. Once in a lifetime, this is why I got this album. Without knowing what the other song sounded like, it was worth £7 just for this. The music speaks for itself. The lyrics are all quotes. The back and vocal choruses are the bee's knees. The guitars, drums, and how the atmosphere brings things. Just so messed up, optimistic. What do you want, Mario? How's the progress going? How it was going down fine until he interrupted. Do, 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 do. Sorry, Eddie. What a failed life that Mario is. Satisfying. In the video where Burn is floating on the cheesy water effects, sums it up, that kind of thing. The video with him dancing is awesome. Why haven't you got it yet if you haven't? Why? Have you got a tumour block in the part of your brain to think, oh, I'm best get the song? Get it! It's a 10 out of 10. Houses of Emotion. I will admit, those DJ noise sounding things sounded dated on first listen. The electric piano, I don't know, it's like an accordion, it makes it feel like you don't know what to think. I mean, that's going kind of slow, and yet you're just getting... Ugh. Then the chorus comes in. You immediately forget that. It just makes you speechless. It is so catchy. Have you ever had one of them songs where you recently got an album, you pick on a song, and you're about to go to bed, but you can't get to bed because you need to listen to it? I got that with, like, Colin Zeal by Blur, and... Uh, Kid A by Radiohead self-titled track, but this is definitely one of them as well. Just that chorus as well. Uh, it's just, of course, you know, the, all, all of it's brilliant. The lyrics are brilliant. The tune's good, but it's just chords. Then it turns into this like Egyptian sounding thing with the trumpets, and it brings the funk even more on. Um, goes on a bit long. Once again, I don't know. Still one to get. Nine point four out of ten. Seen and not seen. The clap kind of percussion starts, and you then kind of kind of spoken word. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we need. It brings out Burns vocals far more, and it just makes it more captivating. I might be wrong, but I think I just get the gist of this meaning. I think it's all about a man who wishes to look better, um, so he gets an image in his mind of how he wants to look like, he looks through magazines and stuff, and he keeps it in his subconscious mind, and he slowly changes into it. And I don't know why, but why is it that the warbling effects in the bass with this very strange kind of thing sort of makes it a warm, peaceful feel? The story is brought through, and soon... I know I mentioned the back and vocals a lot, but in the distance you can hear you can hear the, the the calls sort of whispering of the vocals. It's just harmonising. It's no, it's no, it's not saying anything. It's just it's magical. Nine point seven out of ten. Listening wind kicks booty. The style is very disjointed and has this haunting feel with the the echoing and the guitar spliffs. And then behind, finally get burned probably singing. You know about foreigners. I think going to America and then bring them with this presence of a wind which scares off the Americans. Um, the chorus. I'm speechless. It is just brilliant. 9.8 out of 10. Finally we get the Overlord and it continues this ominous feel like a 
guitars come in, also sort of having this weird kind of thing. And although this song came out after this album, one word comes into my head. Sorrow. What was the second best song on that album? It just went down a bit. The copy. It's just like it. Honestly, it is. But we'll get to that like two years time once I finally get around doing that album review. But anyways, let's get back to this. It's the slowest song. It's drawn out and and it sort of makes me feel like time itself is slowed down. But you can't help on this trance of an open road. Miles and miles of sand breeze, tarmac in the middle of the desert. It's getting dark. Seeing shadows of what you haven't thought was there before. That's a bit dramatic. But it's still masterfully done. It's great, like how it sort of warms down, and I like the drilling effects of the percussion, and ends it on a pretty much perfection. 9.8 out of 10. That's my review. And if you can't tell, I actually like this album. It's my third favourite album of all time. And I've got quite a few CDs, so don't say that it's not that good. It's so close to perfection, honestly. All the tracks are track picks, and there's just pretty much nothing bad to say. Some tracks go on a bit too long, but I don't really care, honestly. It's not really that bad to say. Get it. Oh. So, I think I'll give this a 9.7 out of 10 overall. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see. Nine point seven. Nine point seven. It is the best album of all time, you fool. I thought I could trust you with this magnificent thing, but of course not. You think likewise to me. And so you will be punished by the power invested in me. You shall suffer. Please don't hurt me. Come on, it was a nine point seven. Not a point three. Off isn't that bad. <laughs>